What's up, catfish people? Hope everybody's doing good. Coming to you live from beautiful Watts Bar Reservoir in Tennessee. It's our last day out here. Uh, we we're doing some fishing. Uh, heading back this afternoon. Been here for about five days. Uh, catching some catfish and uh, some stripers. I actually call it stripers too. So, got Grayson with me. Take your uh -huh. mask off so they can see you. Man, I was trying to be like a statue. Uh, trying to be a statue. But uh, we're uh, got an hour or so left. And uh, kind of our goal today was, uh, hey, Richard, what's up, buddy? Uh, our goal was to either get into, thanks for the welcome to Tennessee, Maurice, uh, a monster flathead or get another slam. And uh, a slam, a catfish slam is a flathead, a blue, and a channel cat. And... Uh, we're trying to get a channel cat right now. We do, we've got a flathead, it's a small flathead. We've got a bunch of blues, uh, so a bunch in the teens, a 20 something. So we just came over to a shoal and put out some small baits, downsized, and we're trying to get a channel cat, so. Uh, hey, it's Catfish Weekly. What's up, Catfish Weekly? Anthony Johnson, what's up, buddy? I'm up in uh, your neck of the woods. Um, Grayson, watch Pinky. Pinky may have just check it and see but yeah we're trying to get a channel cat and then we're going to go home so uh it's just our own little goal that we set of uh just trying to trying to get the slam is there a fish on there there is a fish on there let me tape this hang on this could be it we'll see this could be our slam we're looking for nurse it baby nurse it hopefully they can see us yep Trying to get our slam. We need a channel cat. We pulled over here until a shoal. We put out small baits. There's something there. Did it pop off? I don't. It's still know. there. Still there. Nurse it now. Nurse it. Nurse it. Walleye fish that thing. There you go. Fishing line. another line. Fishing like a walleye. Just bring him in. Wish you'd this one for a hundred thousand dollar check. Fish it like that. Dad, gum it. It's a blue cat. Ah, dang. Another blue. Hey, at least it's not tangled that bad. That's true. Barely hooked. Maybe it'll pop off. Walk that way. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, 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 walk. Boom, popping loose. Good. Wow, well, that was. It looks yeah. like a shark. That was actually. Wow. One of the. A little bit bigger baits. I had a couple of them that had some big chunks of skipjack, so just in case there was something. Get that back out. Daddy, you got 28 people already. It's not bad during the middle of the week at lunchtime. Let me get this line repositioned. We have one kind of get ratted up here. Usually, like, See, we went to some baits like that to get a channel. So, see if we can make it happen. Let me reposition one over here. Wait, what are we using? What kind of fish is it? Somebody asked what kind of bait we're using. Skipjack. Skipjack. We're using skipjack. We've got... What we basically do, we cut the tail off and then we kind of just cut body pieces and then we just cut it, the body piece in the center and it's just like half a piece and they're small pieces of bait. All right, we're back. Uh, yeah, we got some skipjack. Uh, panfish from here on YouTube gave me some. Uh, if y'all haven't checked out Panfish's channel, check him out, he's here on YouTube. Uh, he may actually have up a little collab video we did. I've got one I've got to edit that will be up uh, later, probably be a, two or three weeks. I've got so much stuff around here. So uh, yeah. the uh, the uh, he had some. So we've had Skipjack for the past few days. We started off this morning with pretty big pieces of bait and uh, thinking that we would catch some blues and channels and struggle to find a flathead, but it's been kind of the opposite. We've uh, got our flathead. We just need our channel cat, our stupid little channel cat that we've caught so many of this week. So the, one time. the hunt is on 
for a channel catfish. It's the only, this is the only fishing show that you'll watch on YouTube live where they're looking for a channel catfish. So, hey. channel catfish are on fire in Virginia. They're sort of halfway, not really here. We've caught one a day since Grayson's been here. So, uh, Michael, thank you. I appreciate you watching. Thank you, thank you. Ryan, thank you. Must be nice to play. Some of us poor schmucks got to work all week. Well, it starts for me tomorrow and it's six days straight on the road. So uh, I know your pain. I know your pain. Uh, yeah, G-Man Lee, he's uh, he's been winching a minute. Today. We've actually had a pretty good number of fish. That Click that one off. That would be number 13. So we've had a pretty good number of fish. Is that 14? Uh, what? Fish. That was 14. No, that's 13. Last one I clicked off was that big one that we got earlier. Right. That we had to put in the net. Yeah, we got 13 or 14. It's Something a bunch. Like it's a pretty that. good, pretty good bit. We got out here a little bit later, probably around nine o'clock, and uh, we uh, tried a few different places. We fished a different area it's just about every day we've been out here, so uh, it's been fun. Uh, and we've caught fish every day. The fishing's been good. Grayson got his personal best striper, uh, 27 pounder yesterday. Uh, it's on my Instagram and Facebook page. So, uh, the Dieter Millhorn fishing on Facebook. Can I I'm charge my phone? Listen for something to creak. What's that? Can I charge my phone? No, because mine's running right now while it's charging, while this is running. See? Plugged in, cord. So, anyway, they're saying, hey, Grayson, your fans. By the way, Grayson's got a page, actually, uh, or a YouTube channel. He doesn't have much on it yet. Turkey, how to use turkey calls. He's on there messing with some turkey calls. So, it's just his name, G-R-A-C-E-N. G-R-A-C-E-N. So he'll have some more stuff on it uh, Wait, eventually. It, if, they, if it gets to 10 likes, can, can I charge my phone? No. Like can't. it up, guys. 10 no. likes and I get to charge my phone. No, because this will this will die. This will die. So, uh, But yeah, it's uh, it's been good fishing out here. It's beautiful. Uh, all you guys that are from Tennessee, you've got a great place out here. This entire area around Lenore City. Uh, it's beautiful. There's a lot of options uh, for fishing if you've never been here. Uh, definitely worth making the trip. Uh, not all lakes are created equal. Uh, which is definitely true. Uh, and there's different stuff in different areas. It's just, uh, it's a lot of water to look at. It's a lot of acreage. And uh, not being from here. Luckily, I've had some help uh, that if you're watching right now from work, uh, I'm going to message you later and see if I can give you a shout out. I don't know if some of the people like were that. supposed to give me some uh, secrets or not uh, as the word the fish but uh yeah i got some help it was really came down to narrowing down places on my last day there's a bunch of places i wanted to go this area was one of them but there was also some stuff further down the lake so it's it's uh it's it's just it's hard to pick there's just so much area out here not knowing exactly what's going on what was that something about the nfl draft that's actually what i'll be doing for the next few days uh we're doing watch parties uh, from some of the different players that are getting drafted. So we'll be, I think, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, somewhere in the Carolinas doing stuff with either uh, Grayson's favorite team, Clemson, or uh, with uh, some uh, some other. We'll be down there. Some of the Clemson players going somewhere. Some other people that are from the Carolinas that'll be at home that'll be doing stuff with. So that's kind of the point. Grayson's a hardcore uh, Alabama fan. Uh, You'll know, many of you will know that Alabama's the second greatest team in the nation this year. Who's the first? That's not enough proof there we go. right there. There we go. So, uh, My phone came. It's, 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 a bad, it's, it's a bad year for Grayson right now. It's going to be a bad year. So, hey, they're, listen, gonna they're going to dominate Clemson. Listen, they can come back, and they're a great team. They're a dynasty. They are a true dynasty. The I'm not going to knock them. The, the problem is, whenever they lose one game, they win the championship. When they go undefeated, they lose the championship. Well, there you go. Grayson's got it's it figured out as to what the, what the so, problem is. So, they have to lose one game in order for them to win the championship. And that's the only way they're going to win. What if they try to go undefeated? They got gonna... a lot of people here. I'm going to bet there's more people in this feed right now that if you hate Alabama, give me a thumbs up. How about that? I, no. I'm going to go on that limb right there. That, uh... Yeah, go ahead. Get to, <laughs> get to 10 thumbs up so I can charge my phone. That'd be perfect. My, the truth is on me, I like any team that makes me money. So uh, it's usually either Clemson or South Carolina. South Carolina hasn't been cutting it lately. So. Yeah, uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, wait, that had to be, that had to be, uh, bait to bend in there. Now, that's Catfish Weekly. Okay, that's Lyle. Okay, I forgot he's a Cardinal fan, too. 
But uh, Cardinals are. If he bad. came in late, how many people we got in there? Forty-one. Okay, cool. Eleven uh, likes. I gotta charge my phone now. No. Hush. Uh, the um, if you came in late, uh, we're out fishing on Watts Bar Reservoir. We're basically in the upper end of the lake. We're not quite to the river section. We're in the upper reaches of it. Uh, above Highway 58, I believe is what the road is called. It's right there where the clinch comes in. And uh, we're trying to catch a channel catfish. That's all we're looking for right now is a channel catfish. And you, if you tuned in late, we're trying to get a slam. And that is a channel cat, a flathead, and a blue. We've got a flathead and a blue today, but we're trying to get a channel cat. So we're the only fishing channel you've ever seen that's trying to catch a, fly, uh, a, a channel cat so we've got some small baits out we're up on a little hump here in the middle of the uh, river channel uh, basically it's a old island where the river channel split and uh, just seems like a place for some channel cats would be hanging out and normally annoy me the bad part is we're back past the sweet part of the bite for the past two or three days when we've been out here the fishing has been good from about nine to noon. That's when we, we've caught most of our fish. Uh, it's when Grayson caught his striper. It's when I caught my big striper the other day. So, have you uh, cigarette seven? What's that? I have no idea what cigarette seven is. Uh, seek, or is that secret seven? Is that a voice it's to text a, thing? Uh, it said cigarette. Yeah, it did say cigarette seven. It may be a voice to text and that's what it came out with. Uh, when you have a southern accent and you try to do voice to text, you get all kinds of weird stuff coming out. Fish closer to the bank. We've been we trying that. Did. Yeah, we've been uh, we've actually been on the bank all morning, uh, and we've actually the, the two setups we had were basically, I call them little tabletops. You come off a bank, and then there's this flat area, mid range, anywhere 15 to 22 feet of water drops off to the river channel. We've been anchored on that, oh, plucking. God fish off the bank. We've had stuff actually on the bank. I think we caught one fish all morning off the bank. Somebody said put a gut on a hook and we'll catch one. A gut on a hook. Here, wow. let me just test it with this little rod. Test it with, you know, there's an idea. There's an idea. Get that. Does that one have, is that a sabiki written out of that one? I don't have anything like that has any, um, I don't have my double hook deal with me. You can try it on that jig head. They'll hit that. This one? Yeah. This yeah. One. This one right there with the jig head on it. Stick some guts on there. They've been hitting the uh, skipjack all week without a problem. Uh, we've been plagued with them. So. Which one, what does the guts look like? Any of that stuff in there should, yeah. Stick some of that on the hook. He's actually gonna put it on a little fishy and put it down there. We'll probably catch a 46 pound striper. So that would be our luck right now. That actually would be the kind of luck that I have is that we catch a monster striper instead of a fresh. I would care. I could care less. But it's been fun out here. Uh, this is, as I was saying to you guys that are from here, uh, you're, you know, I know sometimes when you live somewhere, you kind of take for granted what you got, but you've got a great place out here. It's really awesome. Uh, there you go. There's your guts on a hook. There you go. Drop it down there. See what happens. I, I, I can guarantee it's going to... Something, it may, just let it drop right now. There you go, let it go. Uh, but you got a great place out here. A lot of water, a lot of places, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to fish for. I think that's the coolest thing that we don't have in the Carolinas is, you know, you've got great catfish, but you've also got stripers. There's walleye out here. There's musky. Uh, there's... Uh, there's paddlefish, uh, if you want to try to catch those big, creepy creatures. You need to put a weight on it. It's not hitting the bottom of the thing right now. Well, just let it slide on down there. Well, it's go like going down, but it won't touch the bottom because of the current. Should you put something like this that so would just get it to the bottom? No, mm, uh, just let it go on down. It's just going to have to float back some. There's no way to put a weight really on that without creating a mess. Get it halfway close. We're only sitting in 15 feet of water. It'll work if it's going to work. Sturgeon, pike, lake trout. There you go. Uh, Isaac, we've caught, as far as our total catch, we've caught 13 fish. Uh, if you just tuned in, 
13, 14, something like that. 13, okay. 14. Grayson says, we, Grayson says we didn't click one. Um, what you missed, Isaac, or anybody else that tuned in, ladies, we're trying to catch a channel cat at this point. Uh, we're trying to get a slam, uh, which is a flathead blue and channel. We've got the flathead and the blue caught so far. Several blues, many of those. One small flathead. And we're just trying to catch one stupid channel catfish. So if this works, I'm done. It's 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 our challenge. That's what you're here for. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of kind of wait and see what happens. We're in up on a little, like I said, a little underwater hunt. We've got some smaller baits out. Uh, this week, the channel cats have been all over these humps. I've tried several of them up and down through here looking for blues and stuff that were feeding on them. And they've been covered in small blues and channel cats. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's just a, uh, a matter of time. The uh, first day out here, it was very cold. I was out here last week when most of y'all got plagued with uh, a bunch of that uh, rain and everything that was coming out. And uh, it. Uh, it's warmed up nicely. We're out here in shorts and t-shirts today. Wait, what do you mean fish on? Grayson, if you if you believe everything they there tell it you. Is. There it is! There it is! There's a fish right there! I was telling Grayson, don't believe these people. They'll lie to you. Let's see what we got. I'm 12 years old and I'm He's shaking his head like it's a bigger fish. Or maybe it's a small, maybe it's a channel. He's just trying to act all big. Yeah. It's rolling like what? 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 Oh! Come on! Oh! Just, how about you let go? It's another of blue. Oh. For a second, oh. I thought it was a channel. Or a bay. He looks like a shark. His breast stinks. I'll get the. I'll get it. I got you. I need to learn how to do this. Rolled right out. This one came on one of these. Got it. One of these uh, dragon rattling things from Catfish Sumo. This is a shad color. I've got some that are greenish color. And it's on a Santee rig, what I got out here. Go over and show them. Grayson, that's not our channel cat. You're killing me. <laughs> he won't talk now. Oh, Where's the channel cats? Where are they at? <sighs> Dang, he won't give it up. All right, let him go. Well, at least he. Heartbreak. We're the only people who are saddened to catch blue cats. At Becca. first, I thought it was a channel. It was too much bend on that rod. It was too much. It's a medium action rod, Daddy. Man, we are. Uh, the struggle's real, people. The struggle's real. Just popped in. Hello, buddy. What's up? Uh, if you just popped in, which you did, um, we're trying to catch one channel cat. Uh, we're trying to complete a slam out here. We've got a flathead. We've got a bunch of blues. Oh my 
we're that. trying to get our slam on Watts Bar, and we're going home. We're going back to North Carolina. Uh, but until then, we're staying in Tennessee. Uh, but we're dragging it out longer and longer and longer now. So. Because uh, we're gonna stay until we get that slam. I don't know if we're gonna stay until we get the slam. We're gonna stay until I've exhausted all hope of getting this fish. But I'm not gonna ex exhaust it's the little challenges in life that you have. You know, it's our little challenges. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Cedar Bellhorn. This is my son, Grayson, right Hi. there. And uh, we go live like this every now and then, put videos up. during are clicking in, and she's going to call me back and do it again in just a second. Honey, if you're watching, don't try calling while I'm going live. You can't do it because she's just she's going to do it again. Maybe she's if you let again. me charge my phone, I could be like, hey, you probably watch could. the live. Try, actually, try powering your phone on. See if you can get it's her dead. on the phone. It's See if it will not power on at all. It's completely dead. Absolutely zero life whatsoever. Nope. Well, maybe she'll get to him and not call back. Uh, thought I heard something. But that's our challenge, dude. We're just trying to get one channel cat. We've caught a lot of fish today, and pretty much all week we've been able to pick off channel cats at will. And uh, I, I, I don't know. It's, 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 it's the little challenges we put up on ourselves. And How much battery do you have? A, I have no idea. How many people are going to? Oh, I got like 53. Uh, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you watching. Consider subscribing. Uh, yeah, I try to like put that. up videos a couple of times a week, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, and then try to do some of this live stuff in between to keep it interesting and do some different things. So mainly fishing for catfish, but it's kind of fishing for whatever. I'm not a bass channel, so that's the only bad thing. I'm not one of the... Uh, uh, I wonder why those clouds almost look the clips like light out here. Uh, I'm not a cast and crank kind of channel, so that uh, okay. that's what we do. So uh, the bait we're using, just FYI, we've got skipjack. Uh, I had bought some frozen skipjack from One Last Cast in Little North City that sells it. I used that for a couple of days, and. Uh, then uh, Panfish from here on YouTube, be sure to check his channel out, gave me some skipjack. Uh, we did a little collab video together uh, that'll be up. So I got some fresh stuff burning through it today. And uh, yeah, just trying to put them, in the, put them in the boat. Yeah, Mark, Grayson is growing. He's getting big. Uh, his camera's still rolling. And uh, getting better and better as an angler and uh, as a good young man. So we're trying. Uh, can I say something? You can say something. See that thumbs up there? Make it the color as a straw. Okay? I didn't do that. Hmm? You changed the color of it? When you hit the like button, it turns blue. That means you like the video. Oh, does it? Don't worry, Somebody's guys. Somebody's trying to click in. Sorry, yeah. Somebody's trying to call in. It wasn't my wife that time. Uh, no caller ID. Uh, it's probably one of No, those. wait a minute. What do you mean blue? How, what are you saying there? It turns blue. Oh, when they click it, the ones that go flying across their screen, screen turn blue. Is that what you're saying? No, like the like button on the YouTube video where it just a thumbs up or thumbs down. You How press one of them. They didn't attention. That's why I keep him around. He keeps me. Let group. him know that it turned blue. So it's, oh my goodness. You thought it turned yellow? I thought it was yellow. Back to work, guys. Dang, you got to go to work? Gross. I gotta do it too, Dave. I'm gonna be doing it for the next six days. So this is my last hurrah here. Trying, trying, trying to put one in the boat. We got eight rods out. Uh, I think only two or three of them have big bait on them. Uh, the rest of them have got some small little chunklets so of skip jack. To get a channel. We just... just want that one channel and we're done. It's the, uh, I'm telling you, the strangest fishing show. I, 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 I I feel like we need to make a move though. But <laughs> Everybody keeps saying. What's that? Everybody turns keeps... blue. Only y'all like. Okay. Well, it turns blue if you click the dislike. Well, at least on YouTube.com on Safari. I oh, really. Yeah. I thought you was just like. I thought this was like a scam to get people to click it. So they. Oh, I know where you mean blue. Underneath the screen, when you when somebody clicks that they like this video, you know what I'm thinking of. You really think I'd scam? You the know what I'm thinking of. Me. I'm thinking of You're Facebook. Fun. When somebody's doing a live thing on Facebook and you hit it and it goes flying across the screen, I know what he's talking about. Now, underneath the thing, you click it, it turns blue to show that you clicked it. Yeah, you're right. This is my life. Oh, sweet. Mm. Wow. That was gross. That was great.
frozen. Don't worry. He'll, he'll learn. He'll learn. It's okay. Put that out of the way. So if there's any questions, comments, anything <laughs> crazy in here. No, it's just turned blue. You're at work. Mudcat Blues is at work and has nothing to do. I love that. That's my kind. There's probably all kinds of people sitting at work. Uh, Saying it turns blue. <laughs> yeah, he's got me. A lot of people's got it here. Okay. Yeah. Dad gets it now. I know what Daggy's talking about. So, uh, do this uh, in the little in the little comment section. Give me a thumbs up if you're at work and you're watching this. I'm just curious how many people. And give me a thumbs down if you're not at work. I'm just curious how many people actually are at work watching. It Oh, I'm talking about a thumbs up in the thing. Oh, and the little okay. Section. Does that I was about make sense? to say, you wanted to dislike your video? Yeah, just a little thing there. I'm going to say, okay, there's a bunch of people at work. That's cool. That's cool. I'm glad I can provide Wait, a... You... That doesn't make sense. You'd want to put thumbs down for at work because work is disgusting and thumbs up if you're not at work. Uh, well, I just did it in that order. Mm -hmm. I figured if I change this, it's going to be confusing to people. All right, yeah, a bunch of people at work, man. Yeah, hey, listen, it's what keeps America going, what makes our country great. And listen, the only reason I'm here fishing is because I work too. It's just uh, I so happen to be working a little different schedule. So while well, y'all are sitting at home tomorrow night, uh, drinking a beer and eating dinner, uh, I'll be out grinding it out till wee hours in the morning. So keeps the wheels a turning here in America. Everybody riding the clock. That's right. That this line is... looks awfully tight. Which one? That one. Maybe a little bit of boat boat sway here too. It's bending. It's got a lot of weight on it. There's no fish. He would have went by now. <laughs> well, it went from there to there. And I... Did it really? Yes. It, did you not see the line go? No, it's got a lot. I got a lot of weight on that when I got it pinned out to the side. I don't think there's a fish... I mean, you can do a couple of cranks on it if you want to. There's a channel cat on there. I don't think a channel. That's got a like a skipjack head on it. I don't know. I don't know. That's odd. I don't know. It's odd that's that straight out like that. Crank on it two times. Nah, it's not a fish. Not a fish. Not a fish. Thought we might have had one. Sorry. If people got in there, that's about 52 people. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna pull the plug on this thing here soon. I don't think. I think we make it home without a, without a slam. No, I, we can't do that. We can't. No. I just. I just. Turtle. Where do you see a turtle? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling the love here. Listen, if fish picked it up and dropped it. It's funny the because uh, we got enough current that even the. That one's awful straight out. Hmm. Maybe I put more weight on that thing than I thought. So, oh, I got a question for you. I got a little question for you guys that fish river current. I was thinking about this today because I don't fish river current a lot. Uh, the only time I really get it where it's really stroking is A, when we have flooding at home, or B, when I come out here. Uh, so I'm curious if there is a rule of thumb for the amount of weight you use to the speed of the water and what i mean by that say two ounces for every mile an hour three ounces for every mile an hour just kind of curious uh what your thoughts are on that i was thinking about that up here uh the other day um uh, because we get i mean here i say we here in tennessee when they're moving water it's a, it's a a good little chunk of current especially in the upper reaches once you get up into the upper uh river section eight to twelve ounces now ryan you're saying eight to twelve ounces how fast is that water moving? I guess is what I'm getting. And obviously depth's gonna play into it too, because dad, the more water you, the deeper the water, the more drag you're gonna get with the uh, line that you're using. What kind of line you're using is gonna play a part too, because braid's thinner and uh, will, you know, braid will cut through the water easier than mono will. So I didn't know if anybody had a, uh, a little formula or something they went by wherever they're at, so. You checking them off the guts on it? The guts are still on it. Nothing is eating that, dude. 
I think we made a tactical error and tried to catch the channel cat too late in the day because we're into the bad bite part of the day. This has been the historically bad part of the day for fishing while we've been out here. It's been, like I said, the good fishing has been 8, 9 until 11, 12, somewhere in there. So uh, we're into the bad parts real side. Thanks to keep the line straight down when dead sticking. Yep. The other thing uh, out here that is interesting is just the, it's a, you're trying to get the guts off of it? Yeah, they're too nasty to touch. Oh, God. The, uh, it's a definitely a different, a different approach to fishing out here than we get at home uh, with the, hey, hey, PD fishing, what's up, buddy? Uh, it's different in the fact that it's reservoirs, but a lot more uh, current dripping out here. Uh, their releases are a lot more predictable and especially when the water's when they've got this much water volume to move they can really create some current throughout the lake from what i've seen and it's a little different ball game a little different uh level of uh stuff to keep in mind and what you're doing so pd's asking where i'm fishing i'm on watts bar reservoir uh above the clinch river right now uh, we're trying to catch a channel cat uh, we're, we're trying to get our Watts Bar Slam. We've done it two days in a row, and we're trying to do it a third before we go home today. So, uh, all right. You just got that little fishy on there? Yeah. Yep, just crank it. You may hook into a striper doing that. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're doing. We're getting ready to head back to North Carolina. I've been out here for uh, five days and just trying to finish up, finish up with you guys and say hey and hang out. Hopefully, have you here for the Slam. So, because you guys have had cigarettes in a while. What's that? I was reading what he was saying. Eight to twelve ounces of no roll, but two pounds won't hold a bank sinker still. Uh, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up and show Deidre your love. Thank you, PD. I appreciate that. How's Pinky holding up? Pinky's doing good, actually. Uh, I'm trying to think what Pinky brought in the other day. I want to say on the my personal best stripper. Was was that on there? Uh, well, well, watch that big heavy rod. I thought I'd just seen the tip dip over, and I couldn't tell if that was boat. I don't think it's boat moving because that just moved. That could have been the current grabbing it. Just watch. Is that you turning it? Yeah. Okay. This rod is off. I know. I don't know about that rod. That's something. I've seen that. Sorry about that. Trent, to answer your question, uh, Pinky's doing good. Pinky brought Grayson to uh, his 27 pound striper, personal best that he caught yesterday. You were saying it's a curse. It's cursed, and then. Oh, uh, yeah. We had like a bad day on it the other day uh, with panfish on the boat and couldn't catch. Uh, it wasn't hooking up. It was nothing wrong with the reel. It was just that happened to be the reel. And then, well, I was joking about it. And then Grayson catches this 27 pound personal best striper on it. So yeah, it's holding up. They're all holding up good, actually. Uh, I've got a black one on here that's the same size and class. And uh, yeah, they're holding up good. Uh, I'm gonna try to break one, still trying to break one. So, uh, hey, we've got but it hadn't happened yet. So fishing. still working. We got the whole son of shark fishing. And uh, oh, that was another thing, Trent. I don't know if you heard or not. Um, I, actually caught a king mackerel on the black ancient mariner reel uh two king mackerel and those reels were not designed for that by any means i just happened to have them was down at the coast decided to i had some men hayden a guy gave me a, a king mackerel rig and i caught two kings on there and i could smell the grease burning inside of it i mean the side plate got hot on it it was smoking the drag on that thing and Luckily, got them both in and got them both to the boat. So, not what the reel's designed for, but even after that, it didn't tear anything up in it. So, uh, so yeah, I think uh, so far they're holding up. I don't think they're an Abu Garcia by any means. I don't think they're that class oh, of reel. God. What? Boom, we got a fish. Sorry. You got your camera on? No. This is not our channel cat, by the way. Can I go on? It's a decent fish, ain't it? It folded the rod. I just heard it. I just, I just heard it. I just heard it go. Is it either coming at us or he doesn't care? That one's getting bit. I 
still got a lot of bend to it. Oh, God. He's smoking it now. The drag just keeps coming loose. That drag made me loose. Let's see. Reel on it. Well, the problem is this drag likes to just butt. Like, for some reason. Yeah, that's that may be a little bit loose on there. You see him yet? Wait, I don't know where you're going. Not yet, but he should be almost here. Straight up and down. Maybe a flathead? Sure what you got. Every time it's straight up and down, it's a flathead. Big blue. Nope. Big blue. Don't get wrapped up in that, buddy. He's wrapped. I got him unwrapped. Alright, welcome back. Fight goes on. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit loose, but he's also using the current. Sucker took it like a freight train. He hit it, man. Can I try to get the one? I get it. Oh, I could and that was a small bait too. That's what. Dead gamut. Save him from the channel. Thirteen pounds. You get a shot at him. Ah, oh, he's a long fish. Yeah, show him to the can. Show him to those folks again. Hello. We're doing a little live thing right here, guys. Flathead, I bet. Chill your beans, buddy. Flathead, this is a blue. Okay. No. Don't let him whip you. Don't, don't get him near the camera. I don't want you slapping that. Yeah. Jeff was chewing like a flathead. Yeah, I thought he was a flathead too. He took it and went straight down. All right, you want to get him in there? Little piece of bait too. That's the heartbreaker. There we go. Finally. Oh. Check this rod right here. This one? Yeah, that one right there has got a fish on it too. Yep. Nurse it now. That one ain't biting good. That could be a channel cat. That could be our channel. Nurse it, nurse it. Don't oh, easy. I'm easy. trying. I can't tell if it's uh, it ain't on there. Dead gum. You are a... I, I, I couldn't tell them. At first, it felt like something was there. I thought it was. It might have been ratted up into something. Let me reposition the car. Yeah, there's some slime on it. Watch yourself. I don't know what happened. Maybe it went to go bite it, and I moved it out of its face. That or you just... Well, you was, I, I think you... you Like a cartoon when it goes to, you know, like when the thing goes to eat something and it goes, just goes away right in their face. I think that's what I did. Wait till he starts editing. He will see that. Missed it. Mm. Dar Sizzle Offshore just tweeted video. <sighs> oh, wait, you didn't want anybody to know that? Bang. They know what? That you follow Darcy on Twitter? Oh no, I like Darcy. Uh, I like her better now. She's gotten better. What's fun to see with Darcy is the interaction. If you ever get to see it, this is terrible. Darcy, if you happen to be sneaking in here under another name, I'm sorry for what I'm about to say. But it's fun when her and her boyfriend grab another sun drop out of there. It's fun when her and her boyfriend go live. And pay very close attention when they go live to her facial reactions to what he does and says. So, 
I, I just, I'm just telling you, it's fun to watch. Uh, there is a uh, significant age difference uh, between uh, Darcy and her uh, boyfriend, man love thing. What are you doing? No. And uh, so, yeah, it's funny. Darcy's gotten, I think, sorry, I'm trying to get the camera level. She's gotten better with her show. Uh, it, it, the first part of it early on, I, I didn't like it. It was really annoying. It's gotten better. Uh, so it's a little more lifestyle stuff. So anyway, yeah, I, I follow follow her on Twitter. So which I'm on Twitter too, by the way, guys. Uh, at Dieter Melhorn. Uh, make sure you follow me there for one simple reason. Normally, I try to let people know when I'm going live and when I've got new stuff coming out. And what does that say? Dieter Sundrop. Oh, okay. Uh, that's precious. I like that. That's my son. He's using that little brain of his, little mind of mesh. I tried to get it. But yeah, make sure you follow me uh, on Twitter, at Dieter Melhorn, and also on uh, Instagram. I put a bunch of stuff up there. I'll be it's, there uh, soon. Yeah, it's some alternative ways to communicate. As many of y'all know, and uh, hear me on this serious moment, um, my comments are disabled on my channel. That's not me doing that. You wanna put that in the trash real quick? I crushed it with my head. Oh yeah, I'm Macho Man. Yeah. All right, serious moment for a second. The uh, comments are disabled on my channel. Uh, that is, oh, thank you. That's not me doing that. That's a YouTube thing. It's some crap with something about child predators or something, and they did it to a bunch of channels that have kids in their videos. So, I guess, I guess uh, you have to like one kid in your video when it's easy. They can do it. So, uh, I've reached out to them, haven't heard anything. Some of the channels have gotten their, there was one, uh, Luke from Catfish and Carp. I heard he was able to get his back, but Luke has over 100,000 subscribers, and when you have over 100,000 subscribers. You get a lot of things you get an advocate at YouTube. So obviously I don't have that and I'm a long way from that. So uh, I don't have anybody to deal with directly there. So right now it's a pain in the butt. I apologize to you guys. That's not my doing. I have no choice on it. And I, they may or may not fix it at some point. So it's a pain in the butt. My whole point being, that is why I say, try to communicate with me via either Dieter Melhorn Fishing on Facebook or on Instagram and Twitter. So uh, I hate to drive people from this platform and I don't want them to leave this platform, but uh, if you want to communicate with me, that's where you have to do it. Uh, YouTube won't allow it to happen right now. Hopefully that's going to change. I think it will. And uh, that way you can start commenting on the videos because it was always my intention from the beginning of this channel that I tried to respond to every comment somehow. I definitely read every one of them and tried to respond and uh, keep up with what you guys were saying. So oh, <laughs> it sucks that you're not able to comment anymore. So hopefully it'll change. Uh, if you so feel moved, contact YouTube. Let them know about it. Let them know your feelings on it and uh, see what they say. Uh, maybe hearing it from some of the fans will mean more than hearing it from us because for them it's really easy. It's just kind of a blanket approach that they went with in doing it. And uh, it's like with a lot of things, when you're smaller, channel they kind of just see if you'll take it i think i think there's almost like uh let's just see if you're tough enough and you stick with it so uh and i am and i will stick with it i just think i'm at a disadvantage uh i think i'm at a disadvantage to other channels that have comments so i i think i think you the fans viewers like the interaction you like the communication and it's one thing i'm one of the few channels and that's what really i'm just gonna be blunt pisses me off the most is that I'm one of the ones that's actually trying to talk to people, trying to communicate with them through the comment section, and I'm one that gets dinged for it for no doing of my own. And that's the thing that just sucks. But it is what it is. Can you uh, scoot over a little? We will, sorry. Thanks. We will keep on digging, we will keep on scratching, and we will keep on fishing, and we'll keep on going live, and we'll keep on doing all this stuff. And because it's fun, I enjoy it. So. Man, we are not, dude, we're giving it five minutes. And we're going home? We're going home, we're pulling the plug. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, we still gotta get back and get set packed up. A 10 minute rule every, every fish. We're down to the five minute rule now. We've already sat here. If it, we get another fish, it's 10 minutes. That's how it works. 
All right, we'll put the 10 minute rule in effect. Fish, it, you better start biting. All right, 10 minute rule is sufficient in effect. Start the timer. And if we catch another Some people one. ask, here's how 10 minute rule works. If we don't catch a fish in 10 minutes, we're done. So we're giving it till five after. Now, if we catch a fish, it resets the timer. That's the official rules. Look it up. Look up the 10 minute rule. That's the way it works. It's out there. It's on YouTube or something. So anyway, that's the plan. So we're giving it 10 minutes. I'm gonna sit here and jack my jaws. Let's see if my back will pop, hang on. Oh. oh, you're supposed to crush the bottle when I do that. Let's see what I can see I here. I have a bottle. How can you fly out of five pounds in a... My back pop. Huh, with no visual structure, it has flat in it, but have a hard time finding them. How do you find them in the pond like that? Honestly, if there's no real structure, it's put, uh, put out baits and prey. I'd be, uh, if it's a pond, the thing is on the pond, is depending on the pond. I assume you put the flathead in there uh, because they just don't show up in ponds. Somebody put them in there. Uh, one, you got to make sure somebody didn't catch them and kill them and eat them. Uh, that's probably a good place to be fishing live bait because that's pretty much all they're going to be hitting. Ponds don't have any circulation to them, so there's uh, scent. Cut bait plays a lot smaller role. So that's fishing some live bait under a bobber and hoping they come and eat. Uh, they kind of got it to themselves in there. The fish don't need a lot. They don't have to compete for food as much. So uh, that's, oh, uh, crap, that is a barge. Coming straight at it. Well, we're in, we're right on the buoy. We're right anchored on the channel ledge. The barge. I don't trust him. Real rods in. scary, I don't know what is. Well, I guarantee you one thing, he wasn't running that thing through here because they were in about 10 feet of water. We're good. Don't. Poppers. Poppers. 
All right, world, we're still alive. I was going to say, if he dragged that thing through 10 feet of water, I'd been thoroughly impressed. All right. And we just did the uh, buoy toss back there, and uh, we got to go back and fetch it out of the water. How's everybody doing? We did a little uh, barge shuffle. What time? There, there. They borrow like restore. Problem is, I think it's a good thing that we threw the boat. That we threw the buoy because. Captain Dave's secret spot is to the right of the motor. Ah, fun, fun. Well, with that, folks, we're gonna bring this to the end. We've got them reeled in now. It's time to make a roll. So, appreciate you watching. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> hey, that is not.